Joel, Gordon from Ionic Systems. Just wanted to show you a very common and often referred to as a laborious task, and that's filling and changing resin in a DI resin vessel. Uh, if you've got an Ionic cartridge system, it's very quick change and simple to change. Probably take two or three minutes, cartridge in, cartridge out. DI resin vessels come in different sizes. So we have 25 litre vessels, 8 litre vessels, 12 and a half and, and 13 litre vessels, handles, trolleys, and all the like. Resin, different brands are, are available. And I just like to run you through changing or adding resin, resin to a new bottle. So each bottle will have a centre standpipe. The bottom of the standpipe will have a conical section which will engage in the bottom of the bottle. So I engage that. I also tape. If you're doing this frequently, you might have a cork. Um, you can add a bit of tape to the centre standpipe to stop resin going down the centre standpipe. One, cautionous, one precaution with resin is extremely slippery. So the microfear, the balls, the resin beads, when they're dry and if you spill the resin on concrete, it can be extremely slippery and it's just like walking on ice. We do have dedicated funnels which allow you to add the resin reasonably easily. If you don't have a funnel, um, different ideas could be a manila folder wound and taped, a very light chopping board wound and taped, which will do the same idea as a funnel. So we'll, we'll attempt to um, add the resin to the bottle. And our aim is to get half of this resin into the bottle. Uh, not, not very uh, glamorous. Now the other, the other um, end of the story is when your resin does become contaminated and need to be changed, what I tell people to do is the easiest way to change resin is to grab a milk crate, balance the bottle over the edge of the milk crate. Inside the milk crate, you can add a garbage bag. So you'll hose out the old resin, which will often have a bit of a smell to it, into the milk crate, the garbage bag. You will then a couple of tiny little pinholes in the bottom of the garbage bag which will allow the water to drain. You can then uh, bin that uh, in your hard waste. So what I'll do now is add a little bit of water to settle that resin down. And the aim is to get half that bag of resin, which will come up to approximately the neck, into, into that bottle. Another precaution is once we're finished Filling the bottle with resin, we then I then dribble water around the extremities of the threads because it is a coarse ground material like sand, and we don't want to get that resin into the threads, which will make it a bit difficult to attach the lid. So I've removed the tape from the centre standpipe. Uh, the upper cage assembly permanently uh, attaches to most resin bottles. There is an internal O-ring that'll then screw onto the bottle. In this case, we have a handle assembly with a pre-filter. So it'll be as simple as screwing this on. And depending on where you are in relation to TDS levels will determine the frequency of changing your resin. We'll do that up. Just hand tight. We'll then have a connecting hose 
coming from the outlet of the pre-filter to the inlet of the head. And on this particular head arrangement, we do have an out and an in which is under that sticker. So that's basically how to add resin to a DI resin vessel. Like to know any more information, ionicsystems.com.au. Thanks for watching. Cheers.